Oh, we've been in limbo for like three weeks now while we did everything we had to do to get in, moved into the shop and we're just about done. And our buddy Supermod, John Wilburn, has come from Virginia to help us out and uh, we're ready to actually start getting back to our cars. So what we left off with this thing is we, uh, we ran it, we broke in the cam, engine sounds good, everything is, you know, drivetrain, it's all ready to go. We wanted to get a weight on it, but before we even do that, how close are you to getting a weight on this thing? We're ready, just gotta let it down. All right, let me, let me just give a walk around, show people what we got going on, okay? So, come, we're not completely set up yet, but uh, these are just daily drivers. We got our daily drivers in rotation, you know. Um, you know Bottle Rocket, so she's all sitting here ready to go for the race in at Jake's Drag Strip on May 8th. So that's that. We'll figure out what we'll break there. That ought to be fun. Um, we're finally back on our Gambler car. I haven't touched this thing since November. Uh, but we got the uh, training tunnel is, is, wow, it got rusty fast. Oh my God. Just a little bit of rain. The training tunnel is, is framed out. The back of the floor is basically in place. And we're on target to have this car running for the Gambler 500 in September. Fingers crossed. But it, we, should, we should be able to make it. Um, but yeah, fun project. And finally, we got the Miata off the back of the trailer. So here's the story with this thing, okay? I bought this car. It was dark. It was cold, I gave him the money, I threw it on the trailer, and it has not left the trailer since, it's been sitting on there. So yesterday, I dragged it over here, and this is the first time I actually got around the car. And you know something? It's a basket case. Everything seems to be here under the hood, right? And my original intention was, you know, let's just get this thing running and, and you know, autocross it. We'll get it ready to autocross. So, Yesterday, I'm going through the car, and I'm like, you know, this thing's, this thing's a pooch, right? To do all the work it would take to, like, restore the car, I could just go buy four of these things. I paid $200 for this car. So I'm looking at it, and I'm saying, what do I do with this thing? What do I do with this car? How do I justify the work and the effort that it would take to put this together? And he says, I don't know, I'm going to put a slant six in here. Why a slant six? Because it's, it's wrong, it's, it's kinky, it's who would ever expect a slant six in a Miata, but that's what I'm going to do with this car. And it actually, it measures out. The slant fits right in this space. It actually fits better than this, you know, the original motor does. The only thing I have to do is, um, with this setup, the radiator is tilted this way in at the bottom. So to put the slant in here, I'd have to tilt the radiator the other way. And there's all the room in the world. It's just a matter of fabricating the mounts and maybe doing a little work on the training tunnel. I have to take a look at that yet. But uh, it should go right in. And there's, like I said, there's nothing up here. So I can move the radiator forward. I can tilt it. I can do whatever I have to do. So that's what we're going to do with this car. We're going to put a slant in it. And the wiring, I, I said, every bit of wire in this car has been hacked and jacked and everything else. So I'm just going to wire it as a 1963 Valiant. There you go. So we'll be on this very soon. Next, I don't know, next week or two, I'll get this motor out and we'll start figuring out how everything's going to fit together. But back to Plan Z. And I'm dying to find out what this car weighs. So right now, I just I just, just dropped the battery in it. And it's a heavy battery. It, it's bigger than the one we'll end up running. It's two gallons of gas in the tank. It's exactly as it's, it will sit on the starting line. So, any guess what kind of weight we got? 2,070. 2,070? That's my guess. I'm gonna say, that's probably about right. I'm gonna go with 2,065. Okay. Okay, right, let's, let's see what we got. Got 
464 and 4851. So how do we total it up here? 2109 total. 2109? That's impossible. It can't weigh that much. It's got to be under 2,100 pounds. It should be, yeah. No, we need to make it under 2,100 pounds. i got to find 9 pounds in this thing. 10 pounds to be... Do you really need a breather? <laughs> <sighs> All right. Well, it's close enough. Now, you got to understand, right? This thing is literally, it's, it's all steel and it's all real glass. So we took weight out of every place you could take weight out of except this center section here, the crash structure of the car, the main unibody. So that's all completely intact. But uh, you added that scoop since last time. Yeah. Oh, I don't like that we're over 2,100 pounds. Can we file on the hinges? <laughs> Let me see. What, let's, let's get the weight with me in it. Weighed 197, 196, 2305. All right, so we're talking about a starting line weight of 2300 even. All right, I can get some more weight out of here. I don't know where it's going to come from, but I'll, I'll find it. Want to do bottle rocket next? Sure. Yeah. All right, but not today. Let's do that tomorrow. That's a good idea. we got to get out of here before the tornadoes and everything come. Crazy weather this weekend. We're going to need an arc. <laughs> Tell me about it. So, all right, well, that's it for now. And, uh, Jesus, it's, it's, it, I can't believe it weighs that much. I'm having a crisis. This isn't good. That's a bowling ball. That nine pounds. Gotta go. See you tomorrow. I forgot the prop rod. That's three pounds. <laughs>